Hey, Creek Diggers, I got some records from down south, and I'm going to tell you all about them next on Vinyl Jeopardy. So, Craig Diggers and fellow music lovers, I am back with a sort of unboxing. So, these records came from Texas. Uh, my cousin has sent them to me, and they are from different relatives. Some, in particular, my grandparents, which I'm really excited to uh, get. So, let's open it up and see what we got. It'll be uh, just as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. So let's see what we get. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Clarence Carter. Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter. <laughs> you have to know the song. There's a, let me see if this is, no, this was before Stroking. Well, Clarence Carter had a song named Stroking. And uh, he was like, Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter. Okay, so this is, what's the name of this? It's called This is Clarence Carter, and this is from 1968. This is uh, the blues, so I am going to be really excited to hear this. I've never heard it before, so let's see what is next. Uh, control. We all know this one. There's nothing to say about it. Oh, I forgot to look and see if that's what's actually in there. I need to check. Uh, yes, Control is in here. Let me see what's going on with Clans Carter. See if he's actually in there. Ooh, whoa, he's in there, but he's very beat up. Look at this. Scratches are, the scratch game is real. And I probably just made it worse. We'll clean it up and we'll see. You never know. Sometimes I have gotten some records, like I got a Midnight Star record one time that was just totally beat up. Oh, look at this, David Peaston. You guys remember him? Um, he was on uh, Saturday Night at the Apollo and he kept winning um, week after week after week after week. Gorgeous voice. This is a single and it is... Uh, Two wrongs don't make a right, and that's the same thing as on the other side, is two wrongs don't make a right. And I don't see a year. Oh, it's, it's my eyes. It's 1980. Hold on. Yeah, it's 1980. Interesting. I kind of remember him being on TV later than that, like maybe 86 or 87, but who knows? I don't know. I do remember watching it on TV. Oh, look, Mahalia Jackson's Greatest Hits, Walk in Jerusalem, The Upper Room. These are all songs that I grew up on in the church. Um, let me see. It is No Secret What God Can Do, How I Got Over. Oh, my gosh. And the um, cover on this looks pretty nice, considering, let me see, what year is this? This is 1963, so the, the cover looks pretty nice, considering. Let's see what the record looks like. And the record looks pretty nice. Not bad. Yeah, I'll definitely be playing that one. And what's next? Uh, this is Jermaine Stewart. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. I really liked his music, and he was really different for his time, or at least trying to be, I guess. Uh, we Don't Have to Take Our Clothes Off. That's the name of the single that um, came out on this. And um, I remember him on Soul Train. Let's see what this record looks like, though. There's no plastic on it. It's not too bad. Pretty good record. Let's see what else we got. Uh, this is Nelson Riddle and his orchestra. I do not know Nelson Riddle. I'm not familiar with him. And it says, hey, let yourself go. Yeah, <laughs> let yourself go. Let's read what it says. You know, it has a whole, looks like a dissertation on the back, but I'm not going to read the whole thing. It says, if you need an excuse for a party, here's a good one. Nelson Riddle's Nelson Riddles on hand with the kind of music you'll want to dance to, to the squares upstairs, start pounding on the ceiling. All right. 
<laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it has a few scratches, but it's not bad. And this is the actual record. So not too bad. Let me see if I put this on and if I want to start dancing till the ceiling, the the ceiling tiles start pounding on the ceiling or whatever it's it. Okay, this is and the last one in this box is Chris Thomas. I'm gonna make it. And I'm not familiar with this artist, but maybe he plays guitar. Or is that a bass? I think I see six strings. Maybe this is a bass. Um and I certainly don't know the difference. And this is from 1990, and it is a single. And it has, I'm going to make it on both sides. So that is box number one. Let's look at box number two. See what's up in here. All right. This is another Mahalia Jackson. Newport, 1958. Recorded at the Newport Jazz Festival. That's interesting. I didn't know that Mahalia Jackson was at the Newport Jazz Festival, but hey, go ahead, Mahalia. I'm not mad at Mahalia for being at the Newport Jazz Festival. Uh, didn't it rain? God is real. It don't cost very much. The Lord's Prayer, His Eye is on the Sparrow. I definitely want to hear this because this is a live album. So, woo. Oh, maybe <laughs> I keep forgetting to look and see if I can even play it. I'm getting excited about hearing a live album that I, oh, yes, this is a really good record. Oh, I will be able to hear it. Mahalia Jackson Live. That is going to be awesome. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting like grit and stuff on me, but I'm not complaining. I'm still very happy to get these records. Hey, car wash. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I got it. Oh, and it's a gatefold and it has, um, it looks like some pictures from the movie, I guess. Yeah, there's Richard Pryor. There's rep, uh, pictures from, and George Carlin and um, I don't know who else was in this movie. Um, oh, it says it right here. Professor Irwin, Corey, Ivan Dixon, and Antonio Fargus. We know him. It is songs performed by Rose Royce and featuring the Pointer Sisters and Richard Pryor. And let me see what the year is. I should try to guess first. I think I was I was in grade school when this came out and the year is 1976. That's right, I probably would have been in the first grade. All right, let me see. Uh, this is Zan. House View. I am not familiar with this artist. Uh, this is 19, uh -oh, 1989, and it says this is a house mix, and then it has an instrumental phase. This is a single, and it has, uh, it's a promo copy, and it is the same song, House View, on both sides, and um, there's an instrumental phase phase and a house mix on each side and i in the 90s i loved house music so i imagine i'm going to like it and this is the last one <gasps> last but not least but probably the best sam and dave hold on i'm coming ah you believe this it's a Stax record and it is 1966 Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. It has little fingerprints all over it. Wow, this is actually not so bad. I can probably play this. It's a Stax record, you guys. Wow, thank you again, Cousin Valerie, for sending these records to me. I am so it's Sam and Dave, can you believe this? Wow. Okay, great diggers. I uh, am going to have to leave because I got to put Sam and Dave on. I'm so excited to have that record. Thanks so much for joining me for the unboxing of my relatives' records, my family heirlooms from Texas. See you later, crate diggers.
These are my records.